Hi, I'm Pete with Moscow, and today we're going to do a comparison between the Deluge, the Rack, and the Basilisk kits. I'm joined by Andrew, my business partner and our design director, and today our Humanikin, and also Jack, our marketing manager, and Humanikin number two. Uh, in terms of size, Andrew is 6'4", 185 pounds. He's wearing a size large jacket and pant in the Deluge. I'm 6'3", 190. And I have a large in the rack jacket and a size 32 regular in the rack overpant, although normally I would wear a 32 tall. Jack is 185 pounds, 6'2". He's got on a basilisk size large and a 32 tall in the basilisk pant. So I'm going to start by providing kind of a use case for each one of these three different kits. I'm going to look at it first from an endura touring perspective and then second from a travel perspective. So uh, a trip where I might choose the Basilisk is uh, I have a 1290 Super Adventure and if I was doing sort of a multi-week trip here in the US like say riding a distance on pavement then doing a BDR trip and then riding back or doing a trip that I knew was going to have a substantial amount of pavement or a trip where I was really expecting bad weather, uh, I was expecting it to be chilly so I thought I was going to be wearing my jacket most of the time, the Basilisk is the kit I would reach for. So the rack uh, is a kit that I would reach for on a trip on a say a 500-501 or a 690-701 where I'm going to be starting the trip and ending the trip on dirt. There's going to be a lot of dirt. Of course there will also be some pavement. But um, I'm also expecting variable weather conditions. So I think that the jacket is probably going to spend a decent amount of time on the bike. But uh, I'm also going to uh, be riding in probably my dirt bike gear. I'm going to have separate body armor and have maybe dirt bike non-waterproof pants on. And I just need something to reach for when it gets really cold or wet. So the Deluge is a kit that uh, I take on my 300 when we go trail riding here. So we have a bunch of single track networks within about an hour's drive of where we live. Um, so we're headed out for the day. I want something that packs really small because I'm carrying as little gear as humanly possible. I don't necessarily expect it to be raining all day, but I think we might encounter some chilly conditions or some wet conditions. And I want a jacket that I can just pull out, stay dry. As soon as the rain stops, it comes off, goes back in my bags. Um, it's also a kit that I'll take uh, on a trip when we're headed out to the desert. And I really don't expect to encounter bad weather but uh, I want to be prepared just in case something comes up. So the Deluge, I love because it packs so tiny, um, but then it's uh, so incredibly waterproof. So now let's uh, talk about where these three different kits would fit on a round the world trip. The Basilisk obviously is a great round the world jacket. If I was doing a big bike trip, say riding down to South America or something like that, there's going to be a substantial amount of pavement. This is definitely a kit that I would reach for. The Rack is also uh, has a role in round the world travel. For me, this is more of a small bike, dirt bag, fly-in style trip. Um, where I want something that I'm definitely going to be riding most of the time without a jacket, but I want to have something to reach for when I need uh, weather or abrasion protection. Both of these jackets provide some abrasion protection. The Deluge, the role that would have on a round the world trip is more as an emergency rain layer. So if you're in three to four days of extended downpour or something like that, you just need that extra barrier between you and the weather conditions. It's great to have a Deluge along. The Deluge also works great around camp uh, or as a um, jacket for wearing into town and things like that. So something all three of these jackets have in common is that they're all designed to go over separate body armor. So none of them have inside liners, none of them have built-in armor. They're all designed to go with a separate body armor kit like the force field adventure harness or whatever sort of dirt bike armor you might already own. Each of these three kits uses fabrics made by Event. Event makes a waterproof breathable membrane that has some very unique breathability characteristics. I have another video that talks about that. On the Basilisk, we're using the Event Expedition, which is their most durable fabric. It's 30,000 on the water column test, 10,000 MVTR, 0.06, CFM air permeability. On the Deluge in the rack, we use a combination of the Event Alpine and the Event Expedition. We're using in the main body, the Alpine, which is 20,000 on the water column test, 20,000 MVTR and 0.1 CFM air permeability. But then in the areas where we have a lot of uh, potential abrasion, like in the knee uh, and the calf on the Deluge, in the knees, calves and butt on the rack pant, on the forearms on the rack jacket, we use the Expedition because of its durability characteristics. A great thing about all three of these jackets is they'll all work off the bike as well. They're comfortable, obviously, and designed for uh, riding and for wearing on the bike, but they also work great off the bike uh, around camp or around town or whatever. Um, in the pants, we have a couple of differences. Uh, the Basilisk pant is really designed to be your primary riding pant, So uh, whereas these two are both over pants, so they're designed to go over your primary riding pant. So the Basilisk pant, that's a waterproof pant, so that's a pant you're going to wear all the time on an extended trip. For the Deluge and the Rack, these are pants you're going to put on and off based on it being cold or being wet. And underneath, you're going to have some sort of non-waterproof dirt bike pant that's your primary daily pant for riding. So now let's talk about some of the key areas where these kits are very different from each other. The first one is endurability. The Basilisk is designed to survive serious abrasion. So we use the super fabric material in the chest, the back, along the sleeves. We use the Expedition fabric in the main body. So this is really designed to take a serious hit possibly a pavement slide, survive, and even still be waterproof after the slide. 
Uh, the rack has uh, some abrasion protection in it. It doesn't have the super fabric, but it's still a material that's quite a bit stouter than what you typically expect in, uh, in a waterproof anorak. Um, it's designed to survive a slide. I personally went for a slide in it. It held up great. Um, but it's not necessarily something that if road abrasion is your primary uh, metric for evaluating a kit, this probably isn't the kit you're going to choose. The Deluge is not really designed to provide any abrasion protection at all to your body. We do put in some heavier duty material in a couple of spots to help protect the garment itself from uh, minor get-offs, but this isn't something you would choose to provide actual abrasion protection in a serious slide. So uh, we talked about durability and abrasion protection. The flip side of that is packability. In other words, how small does the jacket and pant, if it's an overpant, get when it's packed away on the bike? Hey Ash, can we get those jackets? Another area where these three kits differ is in the venting. So the Basilisk has really extensive mechanical venting. On the jacket, there's two chest vents, there's two bicep vents, big exhaust vents on the back. On the pant, we've got thigh vents, knee scoop vents, and exhaust vents on the back of the thigh. These kits don't have dedicated vents. They're designed to really provide the ultimate in sort of water protection, but that you can achieve some venting by opening or closing the main functional zips, but the real venting is by taking the jacket off and riding in just your jersey. And of course, the overpants are overpants, so you have another pair of pants on underneath, so if you get hot, you just take the overpant off. Another th thing to think about with these three kits, uh, especially with regards to the jackets, um, the Basilisk jacket is to think about how often you're going to be wearing your jacket versus how often it's going to be stashed on the bike. So the Basilisk is a jacket I would pick if I'm going to be wearing my jacket for the majority of the riding time. The Deluge is a kit that I would pick if I'm uh, not expecting to wear my jacket hardly at all and then only if it rains or is cold for a little while then it goes back in my bags. The rack is sort of unique compared to these two because of course these two have full front zips. The rack is an anorak uh, and we talk about the benefits of an anorak in the rack video. So all three of these kits have a, a spot in my closet. I, I reach for different ones based on different types of trips, different types of terrain, big bikes, small bikes, uh, different times of year. Um, but they each have a very specific purpose. And each one we have a dedicated product video on. So if you want to learn more about it, go find those. Um, Jack, thanks so much for helping us out today. Andrew, you too, thanks for coming up to help. Ash, thanks for filming. Everyone else, thanks for tuning in.